Hi friends, the color fasteners against hot pressing is the determination of resistance of all types and all kinds of textile materials, colors to ironing and meanwhile to processing on hot cylinders. In this test we use a press ironing machine which can apply 4 kPa plus minus 1 kPa pressure. A heat resistant layer, wool flannel fabric with a mass of 260 grams per square meter per unit, cotton fabric with a mass area ranging between between 100 and 130 grams per square meters per unit, cotton adjacent fabric with dimensions of 100 millimeters by 40 millimeters, a stopwatch, pure water, and a precision balance. The samples should be conditioned under standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. Then, the conditioned test samples are laid out on a flat surface and the sample is prepared. While the sample is prepared, it must not be too close to the edge of the fabric samples. Also, the samples should not be taken from the fold marks and wrinkled areas of the fabric. We can do the test in three ways, dry, damp and wet. While we take the sample, we make use of a template with a dimension of 40 mm by 100 mm. The test samples which we have prepared are cut properly with scissors. We test dry, damp and wet samples with the hot pressing device. First of all, we set the pressing temperature of the device to 150 degrees centigrade. Then, we place the heat resistant plate to the lower layer of the device. We place the filling material which is made of wool flannel on it, and we place the cotton fabric on them. Then, we place the 40 mm by 100 mm sample for dry pressing. By placing the adjacent fabric on it, we lower the device over the sample and we subject it to testing for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, we lift the device from the sample and we terminate the dry pressing test. Then we prepare the sample for damp pressing. At this stage, we test the sample in a dry manner. While we test, the adjacent fabric in a wet manner. Therefore, we submerge our adjacent fabric into the pure water and we make it absorb as much water as its own weight. We can drain excessive water with a napkin. Then by weighing it with a precision balance, we make sure that it has absorbed as much distilled water as its own weight. And we first put the test sample and then the adjacent fabric over it. Closing the device lid for 15 seconds again, we subject it to the test. Then, we lift the device from the sample again 
and we terminate the test. And finally, we subject both the sample and the adjacent fabric to the test by wetting them for wet pressing. Later, we submerge our cotton fabric under pure water and we make it absorb as much water as its own weight. We can drain excessive water with a napkin. We place the adjacent fabric on the sample. Lowering the device lid over the sample again, we subject it to a test for 15 seconds. At the end of this period of time, the wet pressing test is terminated. The color change in the sample is evaluated in two different ways according to the gray scale, immediately at the end of the test and after conditioning for four hours. The tested sample and the original sample are put side by side and are covered with a mask to determine the hot pressing color fastness. It is evaluated according to the gray scale. The gray scale contains values from 1 to 5. 1 is the worst value whereas 5 is the best value. Then by comparing with the grayscale, the test results are given. While we evaluate the color fastness of the adjacent fabric against the hot pressing, we utilize the staining scale. Again, by placing the cotton fabric in its original state and the fabric subjected to the test side by side, we cover them with a mask and we compare them with the staining scale. One is the worst value, while five is the best value. The value that corresponds to color change in the sample is given as the test result. <laughs> 